uh, Gemma in Germany. You shot part of the movie in Germany, so how is it for you to be back here? Oh, it's great. We, had, we shot the whole movie in Germany, actually, and uh, we had such a good time. It's really special, actually, to have a premiere here. Um, we were here from, like, February to May or something, so I saw that all the difference, you know, from winter to spring to summer. Such a, for me, it's personally, it's one of my favorite cities in the world. Yeah, we're happy to be back. Vielleicht habt ihr von meiner Schwester und mir gehört. Wir haben einiges erlebt. Wir wären fast umgebracht worden durch die Hand einer Hexe. Jetzt jagen wir Hexen auf der ganzen Welt. I heard they, they decided to shoot the, uh, the movie in Germany because they wanted a very fairy tale look. Um, what was especially fairy tale for you in Germany? The forests are, you know, it, I mean, this Hansel and Gretel are hunters, so they live in the forest. We built all of the sets in, and we shot at Babelsberg, so a lot of, I mean, the sets are the sets, but it was for the exterior stuff, all the forests and uh, some of the towns as well um, some were quite fairy tale-y. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a complete new approach to fairy tales, so it's a very adult version and um, you have to kick a lot of butts and deal with the huge weaponry. How much fun was that? Oh, I was a blast every day, skipping to work, right? Yeah. We had a lot of fun in this. We had so much fun. Yeah. Well, every, as Jeremy said, every day there was something because, I mean, there was so much action, and, but the action was with witches and crazy sets and... Uh, special effects and trolls and, you know, so every day was like, like being a playground for adults, you know. Um, I particularly loved anything with, where, where we were fighting the witches, because the stunts were really creative, you know, witches flying off on broomsticks and we really did that and so uh, it was always fun doing that stuff. How about the costumes? So was that what you expected when you were first, first approached for the project? Actually, that's the first thing I saw before I even saw the script. They had this little mini poster called the One Sheet. They had the silhouettes of the two characters. Uh, um, Gretel with this crossbow and, and Hansel with this uh, shotgun, this long draping leather and this whole thing. I'm like, that's interesting. And, uh, and they stayed pretty true to it. I think the costume designers did a really great mm -hmm. job because I think we could both move, move pretty good um, in tight leather. <laughs> How much workout did you guys have to do to be fit for those action scenes? You move a lot in that movie. Yeah, we had to be pretty fit. I mean, you have to keep a certain level of fitness anyway as an actor, because you never know what you're going to have to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was a lot of running, which is something that both Jeremy and I are not fans of, really. So we had to do that. Um, and there was a lot of running in the forest, which is actually really dangerous, because the terrain is very uneven. And, uh, yeah, I had to do three weeks of uh, fight training prior to the shoot to get up to scratch with my fighting skills. My name is Gretel. Und das ist mein Bruder Hensel. Ich lasse mir nicht bieten, dass Sie mir sagen, was ich zu tun habe. Wie tötet man am besten eine Hexe? Kopf abtrennen hat sich bewährt. Your version is very brutal, but um, the old fairy tales are violent as well. So sure. what are your childhood memories of fairy tales? Did you like them or were you afraid of some of them? Yeah, I mean, I think I, as a little girl, always liked, the, you know, the princessy sort of stuff, I guess. But they are, I mean, yeah, they, some of them are really scary. And actually, Hansel and Gretel is the, one of the darker, darker fairy tales because it's about kids getting abandoned by their parents and Eat, you know, fattened up to be eaten by a witch. I mean, it's not like yeah. the best thing to tell your kid before they go to sleep at night. Yeah. Was there something that scared you, Jeremy? A certain fairy tale when you were fairy, a child? Fairy tales? No, I think I thought they were pretty cool. I like monsters and all this sort of thing. And yeah, I couldn't think of anything. Hansel and Gretel starts uh, where the fairy tale ends, actually. So it's just two minutes, and then we learn about their adult life and what's uh, become of them. Yes. Are there any other fairy tales you would be interested in uh, in the sequel to know what has happened to the characters in adult life? <laughs> I always, actually, I was thinking about this the other day. Whatever happened to Goldilocks after she'd eaten all the, the, uh, all the porridge and slept in all the bears' beds? Do you remember that fairy tale? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Oh yeah, yeah. She the, just one was too hot, one was too, too cold. cold the best. Yes, right. Who was who was complaining the entire time? Goldilocks. 
Yeah. A little whingy. She probably moved to LA and got a <laughs> pink Corvette. Yeah. She moved to LA and got She has a reality chair. show. Right. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> There's a little fanboy in the movie following, following you around. So did that remind you of any fan experience from your real life? <laughs> um, I don't know. I've not really had that kind of experience, I have to say. I've been pretty lucky. <laughs> I kept it low. But I mean... Actually, just today there was someone shouting, Jeremy! in the hotel, like through the lobby. Mm. <laughs> you remember being bullied by a fan or something? So a weird, a weird fan experience, somebody writing letters to you? Or... No, I know I don't want to encourage that crazy behavior, so I, I'll not say I remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good approach, I guess. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys. Oh, yeah! Morgen, Süße.